Hi everyone. In this uh, video lecture, we are going to learn about Boolean algebra. So, after completion of this video lecture, the learners can be able to identify uh, the given uh, digital expression and they can apply the Boolean algebra on the expression. So, initially we have to know what is Boolean uh, algebra. So, George Boole is a uh, famous mathematician. He proposed one algebra that is uh, called as Boolean algebra. This algebra has some special properties. It mainly consists of the uh, binary zeros and ones. He have written some laws based upon the zeros and ones that laws are called as Boolean laws. So before uh, solving problems based upon Boolean algebra, we have to know some uh, initial, uh, initial properties of Boolean algebra. First property is called as commutative property. If a, x and y are two given numbers, x plus y is equal to y plus x. This two uh, given numbers x and y should be in binary zeros and one only. All the addition, subtraction, all the properties are based upon this binary zeros and ones. This property is called as commutative property. So this property states uh, x plus y is equal to y plus x. This is the commutative property for addition. Similarly, uh, for multiplication, this property can be written as x dot y. So x dot y equal to y dot x. So plus is called as or operation, dot is called as and operation. So that is all about the commutative property. The next property is called as associative property. So for associative properties, we are in need of three Boolean expressions. One is A, let it be B and another one is C. So according to associative property, Boolean uh, says the last like this A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C that is called as associative property for addition. Similarly, we have associative property for multiplication also. So for multiplication it is called as A dot B dot C is equal to A dot B dot C. This is called as associative property for multiplication. Similarly, the pro third property is called as distributive property. So Boolean uh, suggested one property that is called as distributive properties for three binaries A comma B comma C. According to this property, a plus b c is equal to a plus b into a plus c this property is called as distributive property for addition and similarly for distributive property for <coughs> multiplication is given as a dot b plus c is equal to a dot b plus a dot c so uh, boolean distributive property for multiplication is a plus b c boolean distributive property over addition that is first one is addition distributive over multiplication second one is multiplication distributive over addition so we can tell a plus b c is called as addition distributive over multiplication a dot b plus c is called as multiplication distributive over addition so a dot b plus c is equal to a dot b plus a, c, a dot c. These two are called as distributive properties of Boolean expression. Now next property is called as duality. So duality property uh, can be written as that is uh, zeros and ones can be written like this. That is x plus x dash if x is the uh, binary number and x dash is nothing but the complement of that number. If 1 is x then x dash is 0. If 0 is x then x dash is 1. So according to duality property x plus x dash is equal to 1 and x dot x dash is equal to 0. This property is called as duality property. This property is very important in uh, Boolean algebra. The next property is called as idempotent property according to this property x plus x is equal to x and x plus 1 is equal to 1 and x dot x is equal to x and x dot 0 is equal to uh, 0 this is called as idempotent property the next is called as identity property according to identity property 0 plus a <coughs> is equal to 1 or a plus 0 is equal to a a dot 1 is equal to a or 1 dot a equal to a that is uh, a plus 0 is equal to 
a dot 1 is equal to a then negation property 0 bar equal to 1 and 1 bar is equal to 0 this is called as negation property so this all are the properties of boolean algebra then double negation is also there according to that property a double bar equal to a the next property is called as absorption property according to absorption property a plus a b equal to a and a into <coughs> a plus b equal to a proof of absorption properties according to this property uh, a plus a b is equal to a uh, now we have some proofs taking lhs and uh, we can write a plus a b instead of a into taking a commonly outside so first one will be 1 plus b so 1 plus b is equal to 1 so it can be written as a into 1 that is equal to a so we can uh, prove that property then next property is equal to a plus a b equal to a so for this property also we are considering uh, a into a plus b so multiplying a inside a a plus a b so instead of this a a we can write that as a so a plus a b so taking a commonly outside so a into 1 plus b so a into 1 that is equal to a this is called a second property similarly third property also can also be proved like this a plus a dash b is equal to a b so we can prove this property uh, <coughs> by uh, using simple boolean uh, theorems now next is de morgan's theorem de morgan states that the theorem that is called as de morgan's theorem according to that theorem a b the whole dash is equal to a dash plus b dash a plus b the whole dash is equal to a dash dot b dash these two are de morgan's theorem so according to first theorem <coughs> we can tell a b the whole dash is equal to a dash plus b dash and second theorem states that a plus b the whole dash is equal to a dash dot b dash that's all about boolean theorem so uh, some uh, boolean algebra that is used in digital electronics to reduce the uh, number of expressions in uh, digital uh, circuits if number of expressions are heavy we are uh, that in need of la large number of gates to reduce that this boolean algebra is used thank you